We are here in a place which is very familiar to Azorian people, the Fortress du Sidad here in Punta Delgado. People in Fall River will recognize it because we have a familiar Fortress du Sidad on our waterfront. Now, during the World Cup, as you can see behind me, people have come over here to actually play soccer in front of the Fortress du Sidad. They also have a giant widescreen TV here playing all the soccer games from the World Cup. So people have been coming down here for days watching games in front of the doors and enjoying a game themselves. We talked a little bit in the past about uh, a few of the things that you see around the island here, which you see in abundance, and one thing you definitely see in abundance is pineapple. Pineapple plays a huge part of the meals here in St. Michael. Uh, most of the meals you have have some sort of either pineapple juice or pieces of pineapple or pineapple plated behind. Uh, here is a pineapple garden where they grow the pineapples. You'll see bulbs inside and actually see different stages of pineapple. And many of the gardens and uh, greenhouses here, there are an enormous amount of greenhouses on this area here where they grow the pineapples so you could buy them and purchase them at the stores and uh, also have them in many of the meals that you get in restaurants here. And, and as you saw with my first uh, video, people eat them at home with uh, sausage and uh, shirpies and salad. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that. Antes das plantas começam a vir e depois vão mudando uh, para as outras estufas, para, para maiores e tenho, já têm outros, outros tratamentos, outra maneira de tratar as plantas. Depois começam na cada primeira estufa e vai por abaixo, pé, até elas crescerem e ficarem grandes. Ficarem grandes. family in St. Michael the Azores. I'm here with my uncle and all his children and grandchildren. And we're enjoying a, a wonderful dinner here, uh, getting to talk about a lot of uh, how things have changed here in the Azores, how they're the same, uh, talking about family history and about reconnecting with our family and getting an understanding of how they're doing here and how we're doing as well in the United States. So uh, we will catch you later on, and I will talk to you on day five here of the Azores.